Hello, Shadowcat back with more Guild Wars 2. Yes, and I'm Blizzard Star, and we finally, we did a lot of things. We uh, saved a baby dragon. We saved an island. We saved an island and a baby dragon. We saved an island. I Look, think... anyone can find a baby dragon. We saved an island from exploding. How many baby dragons have you seen? How many exploding islands have you seen? Good point. Well... Do we take into consideration Krakatorik and his th a splitting of the land with his uh, brand? No. No, we do not. Fine. Or at least I do not. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I mean, she's right. Uh, we did hatch a baby dragon last time. Yeah. And uh, Lazarus the Mersad is offering to help. I don't know if we should trust him. I don't. All I've heard about Mersad is they're not good. That's because they're not. Yeah. Like, as nice as the Exalted guys are around here, the Mursad are basically on par with them, if not stronger. Wow. That's dangerous. Yeah, so not good. No. Not not digging the whole Lazarus thing. Neither am I. So, what are we doing now? Uh... I, I don't know. You're the ranger. This whole taking care of a baby animal thing, this is your territory. Yeah, and I think Irene is calling to us. Uh, I yeah, I did hear it too. Mm -hmm. So should we, like, go and figure out what it wants? What she wants. And yes, I think that's a good uh, plan. All right. Well, in that case... Uh... At least we're not that far away. They did tell us not to go very far. No, they definitely told us not to go too far, so let's go. All right, well, let me pack this up. Fire I love it's magic. It's very good tea. Magic tea. What kind, of, what kind of tea was it? Magic tea. Fair enough. Yeah, where's that hole? Oh, it's over on this side. All right, here we go. There we go. Oof. Poof. Poof. All right, that worked well. It did work well. Someday I'll learn not to have to have the magic out like this. Well, we'll see. Well, it's very inconvenient having to have all this magic swirling around on my back. Okay. Hello, Illuminate. Ah, oh, Commander. Excellent timing. I was just about to send word. Aurene has been calling for you. Yes, I know. She's been appearing to me, much like she is right now. Aurene? What are you talking about? And she's gone. Didn't you see her? Interesting. I saw nothing. You must have made quite an impression on her. It's as if she's chosen you to light her path. For now, Maureen is just an infant, forming her first pictures of the world around her. But make no mistake, she'll one day achieve great power. As her guardians, it's our duty to set her down the right path. I'm at Aureen's disposal. What's the plan? A bond already exists between the two of you. Our goal is to nurture and strengthen that bond. To that end, we prepared a series of challenges meant to demonstrate virtues to the hatchling. In the chambers ahead, you will help the needy, defend the weak, and train Aurene for battle. In the final chamber waits the truest test of your bond. A foe that you can only defeat with Aurene's trust and help. We've got our work cut out for us. Is Aurene ready for this? She'll be fine. Just be patient with her. Aurene's at a rambunctious age, and she sees everything as play. I have to somehow hide her? You're a you ranger? Could... I guess so. Also, Kaith? What have you been doing? Yeah, 
Welcome back, Commander. Do you have a moment? Cave, how are things going here? Quiet, for the most part. Between the Exalted and myself, Aurene has a lot of eyes watching over her. I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you letting me stand guard over her. After all that's happened, I want you to trust me, like you did before. Mordremoth turned all of our worlds upside down. That's putting it lightly. Since the Firstborn awoke, our trust and faith in the Pale Mother has been absolute. Then we heard the call of our Creator. Our true Creator. That Creator now lies vanquished. Where does that leave the Sylvari? What is our place in this new world we've created? No one can answer those questions for us. We must answer them with action. There is much to do. It'll take time. But I'm sure you and your people will find a way forward. Thank you, Commander. Uh, don't let me keep you. I've got things well looked after here. Hmm, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, not gonna lie, it, it, it's kind of like uh, your entire existence has been turned upside down. Yeah. Right. I mean, if I was them, I would even be questioning the dream and the wild hunt. Right. Tell me about more about helping the needy. They encounter with a guardian escorting orphan children. They are out of food and need assistance. Illustrating the virtues of clarity and selflessness are earning the benefits. Okay. What about uh, defending the weak? We simply encounter with sick and wounded vigil who are fending off a mortar and ambush. Help them and thus teach the hashtag about honor and mercy. Okay. What about for battle? Irene must learn the ways of combat. She's she is to survive. We'll fight with her and help her overcome her fears. Irene will learn to trust you and know the difference between friend and foe. All right. Tell me about the bomb test. You will face a foe that can only be defeated with Irene's land magical abilities. Their bond will be tested. You two must work together and trust one another. Hope to overcome. Hope to overcome this challenge. All right. I guess let's go. Well, that's a pretty vague explanation, but sure. There's a portal here. It is a vague. Rambunctious age indeed. Aurene, come on out. And she's gone. And she's gone. All right. I don't like cubs. Oh, come on. They're precious. Cubs of all age are precious. Where are you, little girl? But I heard this way. My ears playing tricks on me? Possibly. Or is she playing tricks on me? She might. Man, we don't have time for hide and seek. She is but a cub, remember. This is what cubs do. Wait, I saw movement. Oh, wait, that was you. No! Found it. You found her? Yes, you did. And she's gone again. Great. Nope, I'm not letting you out of my sight this time. We've had our fun, but it's time to get to work, don't you think? Well, that was fun. Don't you think that was fun? Not when you play hide and seek for a living. <laughs> All right. Oh, this room. Are you ready to demonstrate charity and benevolence to the Scion? How about it, Aurene? Are we ready? Then let us begin. Oh, thank the six. I haven't seen an 
another soul in some time. These children are in desperate need, stranger. What's going on? These kids were orphaned in a vicious attack on their village. They lost everything. Their homes, their families. I'm taking them to an orphanage, but we've got a long road ahead of us, and we just run out of food. There's good fishing in the shallows nearby, but I can't leave the children. I'm awful at fishing. Could you help us gather some food to get us through the rest of our journey? What do you think, Orin? Should we give them a hand? How can you be awful at fishing? Fishing ain't hard. Well, there's some people that don't have that skill. Like, I'm sure you don't. Oh no, I can fish perfectly fine. Fishing is boring. But it's boring because fishing ain't hard. Okay. Aureen, are you getting the fright? Go see what we've caught, Aureen. Okay, I really don't want to get in there. She will do our fishing for us. We just have to protect her. I mean, I'm okay with this. I just don't want to get wet again. That's one, fine. You should one, be on one dip was, was quite enough for me. Yep, I see it. Impalement. Alright, come on, you make believe skelk. Yeah, I mean, they are just fake skelk. Thank you, Aureen. Ah, oh, great. Now I'm stuck on this side. Because we're supposed to be feeding starving children. Starving orphaned children. We'll eat when we're done, okay? I'm going to assume that's Dragon 4 understood. What? You mean you don't speak Dragon? No, that's I uh, kind of found my uh, repertoire of animal languages I know. I actually do speak dragon. Yeah. Had to learn it in the Order of Whispers. That's impressive. Yeah, well, you steal enough books from the Priory, you learn a few things. <laughs> there you go. This is quite a bounty you brought us. We should have more than enough to last us through the rest of our journey. As a matter of fact, it's almost too much. Here, take some with you. For your companion. These children have been through a lot, but at least they won't be going hungry. Thanks so much for the help. You hear that, Aureen? You did a lot of good here. Do you see that little golden child? It says, Please, Cha. I want some more. How pretty much, eh? <laughs> Poof. All right, guys. Here you will illustrate the virtues of mercy and honor for Glint's sire. Are you ready, Commander? I guess as ready as I'll ever be. You heard her. Let's get started. The trial begins now. Who goes there? Oh. Calm down. We mean you no harm. What happened to you? We were ambushed by dragon minions. It was absolute chaos. Our casualties mounted swiftly, so we fell back here. We're tending to the wounded as fast as we can, but the creatures are hot on our trail, and it won't be long before. Wait. Do you hear that? 
Oh, I heard it. Okay. All right, I can't help you here. All I can do is hold the line. This I can do. All right. Get them into the safety line. There's a wounded vigil here. I wonder if I can get him up. Come on, everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Lovely. Might makes right. Now let's Thank toast him. How many more do you need to evacuate? One more, two more. Alright, time to go after the portals themselves. Okay. We have to clear out some of these. Yep, PCs. I'm working on it. Let them get hot. Alright, All right. I've got two portals down on this side. Perfect, I appreciate that. How are you doing on your side? I haven't got any portals, but let me get the portals then. I'm coming to help. Healing? I'm okay, thank you. Healing is something I can do. Perfect. <sighs> See, Irene, this is why mercy is a good thing. Live allies are more helpful than dead ones. Yes. Eventually, you too will come to know them as meat shields. Don't teach her that. That's awful. Oh, now you have a problem with me getting involved? Don't share that kind of wisdom with our young scion. Hey, get up. Alright. I'll be good. That was easy. That should be all of them. You and your people are safe now. I can't believe we survived. We've all but given up hope before you came along. You and your companion, I mean. Thank you both. We were happy to help. Good luck on the rest of your journey. Alright. Do you think she's actually learning anything from all of this? I hope she's actually learning something from this. Oof.
Hey, we can't go through walls like that. Greetings, Commander. This trial is meant to convey the virtues of courage and valor to the Hatchling. Shall we begin? Absolutely. Prepare yourselves. Prepare for what? I don't know. Oh, we can't actually get on top of it this time. Oh, you have to go around. Well, this sucks. Uh-huh. All right, well, I can do this the hard way. Let's do it the hard way. Uh, hopefully not too hard. I brought rocks. They're all hard. <laughs> well, that's fair. Okay. They're not going to stop. We have to find those generators. Anger there we rising. go. There's one. Let's see what we can do about this. Let's crush it. Doing anything. Aurene, we need your help over here. Come on, little girl. Oh, that is a big ooze. Yes, it is. Anger rising. There we go. All right. Well, there's one down. That's a lot of oozes. Yeah, it is. But that's okay. I'm good at clearing the way. If there's one thing it, that uh, Earth Magic is good at, it's, cov out. it's covering a lot of ground. Yeah. Get it? Get it? Uh, that was bad. Worth it. Alright. Oh, here's another one. And Orion's with us. Perfect. Nice, another wall section is moved. All right. Next. All right. Hello, oozes. Time to get oozified. Oh, don't worry. You, you can feel free to immobilize me. I want all of you in one place anyway. How you doing these back are, there? These are tough, uh, all graphic oozes. Well, come on. How much trouble can you be having? You've got Aureen and your... your Whatever that is with you. That's fair. I just have some rock elementals. Granted, I love my rock elementals. I was about to say, don't do this on your rock elementals. Okay. That one looks kind of broken. I think I might have broke that one. That's okay. Broken is a good thing. No, nah, they've got me stuck. Don't worry, we have your back. That's alright, I'm going to make them suffer for it. Let's 
see. Where is this generator? The generator is the other way. Okay. We just need to get Orion back on track. Yeah. She wants to fight everything over here. All right. Yeah, get her headed that way. She's back here with me fighting the users. Hold on, just a second. All right, she should be coming your way now. All right, let's go. And kaboom! You fought bravely, Orin. Good work. Cool. You are a natural, Hatchling. Ready to rock. Well, those were just holograms. Um, we'll have to yeah. see uh, how she does against something more real. Lively. Yeah. Go poop. Welcome to the last chamber, Commander. Here, your bond with the Hatchling will be put to a final test. You must work together with the Hatchling to defeat the foe that awaits you. Are you prepared to face this challenge? We've come too far to stop now. Let's do it. Ready yourselves. The test begins now. Oh, hell. Okay. Hey, that's my kind of thing, actually. Let me pop out some help. And let's dust him up a little bit. Sounds good. I don't think I'm actually hurting this thing. If I am, it's too infinitesimal to, to, to really tell. Apparently, I can make this thing bleed. That's good. Oh, Ari, over here. Give it all you've got. Oh, that was adorable. Baby dragon breath. And that was painful. Stupid holographic Mordrum. There, that should get us both. Thank you. That takes more energy. You wanna be here? Fine, you got me here. You can have everything I got. Also, is it healing? I think it's healing. Well, that just ain't fair. Right? Well, I mean, I can heal. I can heal both of us at once. On down, Mordrum. Ow! Right? Angry Mordrum. Very much so. I'm just gonna take a take a minute over here, if if you That's don't mind. Fair. 
You're doing fine. Remind me to get you a bigger stick. We need a bigger Wait, stick. Come on, what does it take to kill you? A lot of low power. Oh, all right, Darien. I need you. Give it away, Tom. Okay, well, we're going to hit this thing with something a little bit bigger than a baby dragon. Be nice. And I don't think I have it. Because, I mean, this thing does not care about a little Ready. dust storm. No, it doesn't. Ow! Stop that! I get it, you're pissed. The feeling's mutual. Hit it now, hit it now, hit it now. Burn it down. Ah, oh, I hate it when it does that. Come on, I'll be getting. Thank you. No problem. I still have no idea how we beat this thing. Me and Noreen have to work together somehow. And not get sucked in by that thing. Yeah. Easier said than done. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! I don't understand. I can't seem to even stagger it. This thing is a rock, and not one that I can control. You'd think that throwing up enough in, enough rocks like this, I would be able to at least stagger it. But no. I can't seem to affect it with anything. You're up. Oh. Come on, Noreen. Let's go. I need you, Noreen. Give it all you've got. Oh, 
was painful. Very much so. But I mean, this thing's not going to keep me down. Come on, up you get. There has to be a trick to this. I think it is getting weaker, slowly. Painfully slowly. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That spin it does seems to be what's healing it. Yeah. We can't get spun. All right, Irene. Let's go. Okay, I need to, Ready to stop that. I need to pull my scepter out of my pack. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Nope, oh. nope. Stop that. Man, I cannot avoid it. It's pulling me from all the way across there. I don't know how to stop it from just feeding on us. Oh. All right. You're up. I'm going to hit the water. Good idea. Oh no, I fell off. Sorry, Irene. You left her hanging? I left her hanging. Ready to no! Damn it! There's no rhyme or reason to how it attacks. It's not regular enough for that. At least there's no pattern I've seen. It does have to wind up before it can do a spin. Yeah. And that's the only warning we get. All right, your time is coming up. All Hit right, it now. I think you need to stay in that spot and he pulled me out of the water. How do you avoid getting pulled by this thing? I don't know. That's a good idea. You've got to stay on that spot though. Okay. Yeah, but you're the one that has the bond with the lizard. Dragon! She's a dragon! Not a lizard, she doesn't do the sun thing! Now, get to your spot. Alright! And stay All right, there! Let's go. Okay, I'm staying back this time. It's not going to pull me in. It pulled me in from a, all the way over there.
But you know what? It didn't get any health from me. It couldn't keep its spin up long enough. That's good. I'm going to observe from here. Nope, you're not pulling me in. You're not feeding off of me. Keep it up. Almost. Almost. Nope. Nope. There, go, now, go, 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 go. Let's go. That was it. Outstanding work. I should speak with Illuminate. You rest now, Aureen. You've earned it. Right. I had to kick your golden well ass. Well done, Commander. We've, We've given the hatchling the best possible start that we can. She still has much to learn about her place in the world. But thanks to you. She has a foundation of trust to build. Commander, do you read me? Sorry to interrupt, but I've got some urgent news. I've been examining that destroyer sample you retrieved, and I've come to a conclusion. I was right, as usual. So it's true. The dragons are absorbing each other's influences and becoming more powerful in the process. Right, and there's more. I've been digging through old Rodanovan research on Primordis for an exploitable weakness, and I found a solid lead. According to these findings, Primordis' domain of magic can be counteracted somehow, negating it altogether. As for the possible counteracting agent, I'm still investigating. New answers lead to new questions. What's your status? I just finished spending some quality time with Aurene. Glad to hear it, especially if it lessens the likelihood of an older, bigger Orin going rogue and slaughtering us all. I definitely wouldn't object to having a dragon fight with me rather than against me. There's an appealing thought. I wonder if... <gasps> Commander, th th that's it! We need a force that can counter Primordis. What if it's another dragon, an ice dragon, for instance? Remember what I was telling you about that chalk organ? How it could selectively filter certain types of magic? If we can discern magic types, we may be able to pit Jormag and Primordus against one another, destroying them both at once. Are you suggesting we get Jormag and Primordus to fight one another? How? Not the dragons themselves, their energies. As for how, I'm not quite sure just yet. Our first task is to test the theory. Okay. Let's say we pursue this course of action. What comes next? We confirm the theory in the lab, utilizing small amounts of magic to see if they'll actually counteract one another. And we'll need an ice boot sample. One showing signs of influence from our dearly departed Mordramoth and Zaitan. Then I'd better get to the Shiver Peaks. I'll find Bram while I'm there and talk to him about joining Dragon's Watch. I'm sure he'll want to hear all about our new plans for Jormag, too. I'll get to work on some means of pitting the energies against one another. Good luck in the Shiver Peaks, Commander. The Shiver Peaks. We have to go up to the Shiver Peaks. I'm cold already. Right. <sighs> All right, well, we have to stop by the Black Citadel on the way. I need to get my yes, coat. I do, too. Because, like, I'm not going to the Shiver Peaks without it. No, that would be foolhardy. Great. All right, well, at least we got something accomplished today. You took care of Aureen. Yeah, we 
taught her virtues and uh, other good stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of that actually stuck. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know how to bite things and breathe oddly prismatic flames on it. But I mean, that's still progress. It is progress. If anything, we can use her as a flamethrower, and if not that, at least she's a portable, self-producing fire starter. Wow. Very nice. Well, what do you want me to say about the dragon? <laughs> it doesn't do anything yet. Except He's bite things and breathe fire. Which or begs the question of why we're doing this in the first place. She's only, like, days old. Yeah, but she's, she'll become a grand ally, I think. Someday. Someday. How long does a dragon live? Thousands of years, I'm assuming. So how long is it going to be a baby dragon? She probably will grow faster than we give her credit for. Don't you remember how quickly we uh, grew as uh, cubs? We don't live for thousands of years. Yeah, that's very true. You could spend your entire lifetime training a baby dragon. Eh, maybe. All right, well, I guess if you want to see what happens next with the uh, with the baby dragon, you have to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I can assure you it's going to be nothing good. And give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed us fighting for the last how long dealing with that Mortem Thrasher. Yeah, it took time for me to figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to share this video out. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. We're heading to the Bitter Frost Frontier now. Sounds cold. Really cold. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we're we're gonna grab our coats and we'll see you next time for more Guild Wars 2. And until then, take care. See you later. Bye.